ladies and gentlemen, the conditions in Hawaii just continue to go downhill. This is a story that came out about three hours ago, May 10th, 2018, Reuters. Hawaii authorities scramble to move tens of thousands of gallons of highly flammable chemicals from the path of lava on Thursday, and the state's governor warned mass evacuations might be needed as the Kilauea volcano eruption became more violent. I just can't believe what's going on. Boy, if I didn't see it, I wouldn't believe it. After a new fissure opened up Wednesday about a half a mile from geothermal power plant, Hawaii Governor David Ige set up an emergency task force to remove the pentane used at the plant turbines. He cites estimates that if the fluid ignites, the resulting explosion could create a blast radius up to one mile. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we know it already took down 36 homes in uh, Leilani Estates, which is a residential area on the island and more than 2,000 were forced to evacuate. There are a total of 15 volcanic fissures that is on the island now. As more fissures open and toxic gas exposure increases, the potential of a larger scale evacuation increase. Okay, so mass evacua evacuation of the lower Puna district would be beyond current county and state capabilities and would quickly overwhelm our collective resources. So this is what the governor is saying. Wow. Do you know, I'm not sure if they can even fix that stuff. You know, I don't believe it can be. Okay. So the lower part of the Punta district which is Leilani Gardens, is part covered dozens of square miles and is home to many thousands of residents. It has the highest possible hazard risk for lava flows, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Exposure to high levels of sulfur dioxide gas emitted from the fissures can be life-threatening, experts say. Wow. So, you know, they're expecting more violent explosive eruptions from this volcano. Um, and it's saying it's going to be unlike anything they have seen in a century from this volcano. And it's actually been a very active volcano before in the past. Wow, look at that picture. Oh, my God. Okay, so the steam-driven explosive eruptions could hurl ballistic blocks weighing several tons upward and half a mile in dust towns as far away as Hilo, some 25 miles distance with volcanic ash and smog. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, where Kilauea is located, said on Wednesday, it would close most of the park on Friday due to the threat of possible explosive eruptions. Wow. Magma is draining out of the volcano's sinking lava pool and flowing underground tens of miles eastward before bursting to the surface on Kilauea's eastern flank in the lower Punta area. So it, they're saying that this thing has been on a constant eruption for 35 years. My question is, if that was really the case, why would these people live near a volcano? I mean, really, how wise is that? It's been active for over 35 years and you choose to live 
at an estate near a volcano? I'm sorry, it just don't make any sense to me. I mean, things are always changing. Just because it, it may not seem like it's moving, eventually the thing is going to move. Okay, so it predominantly oozing um, lava from fissures that flow into the ocean, but occasionally experience more explosive eruptions, such as an event in 1924. So, I mean, they can go all the way back. And the fact that the fissures are opening up, that tells you that there's magma right underneath these roads. You can't use those roads again. You know, it, it, the volcano has pretty much claimed <laughs> this whole area. Wow, this story is just, uh, this is just unbelievable. But please tell me what you think about the power plant is now in the path of the volcano and all of the lava flow. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And if you have an Android device, please go out and get my app. You'll see the link in the comment section. And if you can make a donation to my channel, please do. Peace, family.